Hello, welcome to lesson 53, Collections in C Sharp, part 2, Sorted List, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what Sorted List is. Okay, C Sharp has generic and non-generic Sorted List. But as of in this session, we are going to learn only about non-generic Sorted List. Okay, non-generic Sorted List stores the key value pairs in the ascending order of the key. It means that if you want to store an items in a Sorted List, then it how do you store how do you store values to a sorted list then we have to make use of uh, key and value pair to do that work okay and key must be unique and cannot be null whereas value can be null or duplicate to understand this sentence clearly how sorted list stores values in it uh, what we'll do is we'll jump into visual studio and we'll start coding okay and since sorted list is a collection um, collection is a special class which holds specific specific values in a group so what is this ordered list going to do? This ordered list is going to store some specific series of values in it. Okay, then what is the process of storing a value in a sorted list? That's what we're going to see in this program. Then we have a sorted list class. Let us see where it is present. This sorted list class is defined in the system dot collections uh, namespace. So uh, I'll just create object of it sort new sorted list. Okay. What did I do? I just created an object of sorted list class. Now, when I'm having an object, what is my next objective? When I, I will use that object, then I'll call a method called add. What is this method going to do? This method is going to add items or values to a list called sorted list. Okay. Then what is this add taking the parameters? So taking the parameters of key and value. This is very important point. Suppose if you want to store values to a sorted list, then you have to store that value with assigning a key to it. So how do I store value here? It's very simple. I first have to assign a key. Then the value is something like I'll give it as C sharp. Okay. This is the value C sharp and its key is one. Similarly, if I want to store some four items, it's very simple without wasting much time. Let's do copy paste and the value here is two and it is MVC and it is selenium. It's just and APM. Okay. Now what did I do? I just added four items to my list. Sorry, I have to change the value name also. Keep in mind the val key val key should be unique. It should not be same with the other values, other keys also. And it is unique here. Now what it is what is the sorted list consist of? It consists of four items: C sharp, MVC, Selenium, and APM, and with the respective keys. Uh, now once I'm once I've stored values, how do I check it back or how do I access them it's very simple you can access these values with the help of uh, the their key with the help of this key you can uh, check out the what is the value present here how do i do it it's very simple like uh, sort with square brackets suppose if you want to check the value of uh, what, what is the value present in the key 3 how do i do it it's very simple you have to pass the value key 3 here then semicolon uh, but uh, what do you have to do you have to print that right so i'll do i'll just cut this and paste here and this, that's all now when I run this program what what is this line going to print it's going to print the value which is present in the key called 3 okay now when I run this program obviously it has to give selenium on the console screen yes obviously it did okay this is how you check the value similarly if you want to see all the values you have to pass mm, I'll just do one thing if you want to access individual elements this is the way you have to do it Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just change the key number here. Okay. How do I access back? It's not by the index numbers, it's by the key values. Okay. Keep in mind this is not the index number of this sorted list, it is the key values of this sorted list. Okay, now when I run this program, obviously it has to give C sharp, MVC, Selenium, and APM on the console screen. This is how you'll access individual elements. Suppose if you want to access all the elements at once, and that time we can make use of for each loop to do that work. Okay. Uh, without uh, without wasting much time, um, we'll jump back into presentation. We'll learn something like uh, you can observe here key uh, key must be unique and cannot be null, whereas the value can be null or duplicate. For example, you can observe here. Uh, they are telling like key can't be uh, here the value can be null suppose if I don't don't pass anything here and if I just give null and suppose if I try to print this program like what is the value present in uh, the key 4 uh, how do I do it how do I print it sort of 
4 now when I run this program what is the value it's having the value is null there okay so it is not printing anything so if I if I do my uh, if I make my key as null if I don't pass anything then uh, you can observe where it is throwing error telling that argument missing it means that you can pass the value as null if you don't pass anything it will uh, easily build the project and compile also run at the runtime it will not throw any error but if you make the key as null or if you don't pass the key then it will throw the error telling that argument missing so keep in mind you should not uh, um, make the key value as null but you can make the value as null okay this is what we learned here okay and jumping back into presentation you can observe here um, non-generic you can make uh, the other important point is whereas value can be null or duplicate uh, it means that you can make the value as duplicate also for example for the fourth key I'll assign the same value as as I had assigned to key 3 okay now when I do this and if I print uh, salt of 3 as well as 4 I'll just copy paste without waste much time if you want to see the values present in the keys four, 3 and 4 now when I run this program it will build selenium it means that what we are doing we are duplicating the value because we are assigning same value to 3 and 4 but it does not throw any error so this is what the meaning of the second point okay and coming to the third point the non-generic sorted list stores keys and values of any data types okay um, that's what we did here in this program we are storing values uh, of uh, integer type key as integer type and the value of string type it is store it's obviously storing them and coming back coming back to presentation key value pair can be cast to dictionary type it means now what we'll do is we'll jump back into presentation now we just saw how to access individual elements if you want to access this uh, entire elements as a single shot then we can make use of for each loop to do that work to iterate the loop to iterate the collection now what I'll do is I'll just pass here like uh, the variable name as sort uh, list okay now the collection name is your sort itself so I'll pass sort now when I do like console dot write line um, I want the key I'll make use of placeholders zero uh, and the value one okay now if I do like sort sorry sort dot key okay sorry it's key but I'm getting keys so what I have to do here is it's very simple um, keys comma okay instead of doing this okay what they're trying to tell here is first what we'll do is console dot write line sort list it is not sort it is sort list okay um, what is the variable here sort list then uh, dot key it's not uh, showing us the key value so uh, the problem here is see here the sort list type is of uh, implicitly type var so instead of using the var let us use uh, the key value pair uh, return type okay uh, key value pair okay instead of key value pair it can also be cast to you can observe here key value pair can be cast to dictionary entry okay let us understand what is dictionary in the coming class as of now what is dictionary dictionary is a collection of uh, normal meaning of dictionary is collection of words with a particular index okay now we'll do that in our program like uh, instead of using the implicitly type varier let us use some dictionary entry okay dictionary entry what it is it's a struct so what I'll do is sort list dot when I do that I'm getting a value called key I'm, I'm getting a property called key similarly if I do go with my sort list dot if I want to check the value what is present in that key obviously it's, it gives a property of that now when I run this program you can observe the keys with the values obviously key 1 2 3 4 and the values you have MVC selenium and selenium okay now let us change the value or it's not selenium it's apm
okay now when i run this program it obviously prints the four values with the four keys okay this is what the output what we expected and we saw how to access the elements using if you want to access single element then use uh, the variable name or the object name with the uh, brackets followed by the brackets and the value within that brackets is the key and if you want to access all the elements at once at the single shot then we can make use of for each loop and but the thing is you have to uh, the variable type should be of uh, dictionary entry because it consists of key and value pairs which is defined in this dictionary entry so we have to make use of a uh, type to a dictionary entry not uh, the as usual var type okay this is this is what we saw in this sorted list program okay now we'll jump back into presentation and you can observe uh, access individual element using indexer as that was that's what we saw here sorted list indexer accepts key to return value associated with and that's what it gave us now um, let us understand some of the properties or the methods present in this okay suppose if you want to remove an element uh, remove a list uh, element present in that sorted list how do i do that it's very simple suppose if i want to remove the third third key or third value then we have a method called remove what what is the input it's going to take it's going to take the key as the input so if i want to pass the third one if i want to selenium i want to pass the key of it so now when i run this program the third value will be removed you can observe here key 1 2 and 4 okay this is what um the remove method does and coming back to presentation and if i want uh, to check whether the particular key is present then we have a method called contains okay how do i execute it it's very simple like uh, sort dot contains let us check whether the key called two is present okay obviously it is present here let us check whether cross verify using this method contains now if it is present come check here this contains key is going to result us is going to give the result back uh, boolean value so i want to store it in some variable called bool yes equals so now i have to print that uh, yes it will tell us true or false if that item is present since it is present in this list it has to give us true so now when I run this, you can observe it is giving me the value true. Why? Because this key value 2 and the value is present there. So I'll jump back to presentation and uh, we have some other methods. We, okay, it's, these are all very uh, simple methods you can execute by yourself. And as of now in this session, we saw some of the methods like uh, remove contains. Okay, this is what this is what the sorted list is and other important point is this sorted list stores values in ascending order it means for example i'll just paste it up and down interchange the values like uh, three at the bottom and this also okay now when i run this program the value the order here is like two four one three but when i run this program uh, I'll just remove the sort remove three. Let us now when I run this program, you can observe it arranges in the ascending order like one, two, three, four. Irrespective of what order you store here, it uh, stores values in the ascending order like it prints in the normal uh, order that is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Now when I run this program, you can observe. It prints the values in the ascending order, like one, two, three, four, five, as we saw in the uh, output at that time. Okay, and this is what about the sorted list is. And also, we learned some of the important properties and methods, like count method. It counts the number of elements present here. Uh, like if you write like uh, sort dot count. What what is this count going to do? It is count the number of elements or the values present here. Now. Um, I have to do. I have to print this. I should not pass. Not pass like this. Okay. okay. Some some properties missing here. Okay. Okay. That's not a problem. And what will what is what is this count going to do? Is it's just going to return you the number of values present in the list. Here the values are four. So if you use a count property, it's going to return the number of values present in this list. And that's what about 
this properties and we have other values like if you use keys it is going to give the number of keys uh, and the values is going to display the, the value present in that list okay these are some of the important and easy methods you can execute by yourself as of now in this sorted list we learned like some of the properties and methods and also we learned what a sorted list is okay and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below